we started before that was living and the non-living things. Today we will study some things that living things can do. First, we will study the movement of living things. How can living things move? Okay, there are many things we will study. Number one, swim. Okay, swim. You know, there are some living things that can swim just like, yes, just like fish. So, fish can swim. The movement of fish that it can swim. Okay, let's see it in the fish. Yeah, like that. The fish swims like that. Okay, if we ask it ourselves, how can the fish swim? How can? There are many parts at her body, its body, that helps it to swim. Just like fins. The fish has some fins. And fins, just like these, help the fish to swim. It was number one. Fish can swim using its fins. Okay? And the number two, the second uh, example of movement, just like flying. You know? Birds can fly. The birds can fly. And these birds use their wings. Birds have wings and the wings help the bird to fly. Wings. Two wings. The bird has two wings that help in flying. Number three, walking. You know, to walk just like human. Human can walk. Mm, human just like me, just like you, your father, your brother. All of these human can walk. How can the human walk using their legs? Human walks on legs. And some other can run, run very fast, just like horse. The horse can run. This horse can run using their hooves. Hooves help the horse to run. Okay, so the living things can Swim just like fish using their fins and fly just like birds using their wings. Walk as human using the legs. Can also run just like horses using their hooves. Okay, that was the movement of living things. We will study other properties of living things but the first one is moving now we will study the second property of living things eating at living things how the living things can eat okay number one we have example lion you know lion what can lion eat what does lion eat lion eats meat so the meat needs strong teeth so the lion has strong teeth. That strong teeth helps it to eat meat. And number two, the bird. Just like uh, doves and uh, some birds, uh, you know, hens and uh, canary, these birds. What can they eat? Yes, I hear someone who said they eat seed and they need beak. They need beak to help them eat seeds, you know? This bird uses the beak to eat seeds. Number three, we will study the giraffe. You know the giraffe? Giraffe eats some leaves of the tree. If there is a tree, then you know that trees are tall and the giraffe needs to have some leaves of the tree. So it needs long neck to help it to reach the leaves. So the long neck helps the giraffe to reach the leaves of the tree. Okay, so these living things need some parts and their body help them to eat or to have food. So we studied the movement and some parts help these living things to move. We studied the Eating of living things and some parts help them to eat. The last thing we will study about the 
Living thing is a protection. You know, all the living things try to protect itself or try to protect himself or herself. To protect itself, it needs some special organs or some special parts, just like fish. How does the fish protect itself? The fish protect itself using the scales. There are some scales on the body of the fish, and these scales protect it. What about the tortoise? Tortoise or turtles uh, have some shells. You know shells? It's uh, very hard, so it protects it. And the birds. Birds have two things to protect. Some uh, feathers around its body. You know the feathers? Feathers on the body of the bird. And claws. The claws help the uh, birds to protect itself. And the claws have many other uh, jobs or many other functions. We will study about the birds. It helps in many uh, things we will study later. Okay? So, we study about the living things. How can they move and how can they eat, uh, how they protect themselves. Okay? Uh, I think it's very easy to, to study and uh, I wish all of you can study this part well. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Goodbye.